am praised for sending his son Jesus on this day, the sacrificial lamb. So let's go ahead and get our minds on one accord and let's usher in the spirit of the Lord. Oh, 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 help me sing, help me sing. Said, come, come let us adore him. Kneel down before Kneel him. down before him. Worship and adore Worship and adore him. Come on, help me sing. Say come. Come let come let us adore him. Then I'm gonna kneel. Kneel down before him. Worship and, worship and adore him. Come help me sing, say, come, 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 let us, come, come let us adore him. Kneel down, kneel down before him. Worship and adore, worship and adore him. Come on, sing one more time. Help me sing, come, come. Come on and come, Lord. Come, come let us adore him. Come on and kneel. Kneel down before him. Said worship and adore worship him. Worship and adore him. Come on, help me lift him up. Sing amen. Emmanuel. Come on, help me sing it now. Emmanuel. Come on, help me sing Emmanuel. Tell them, say, we, we, we worship you. Come on, help me sing, we, we worship you. Come on, help me sing, come and let us adore him. Sing, come, come on and let us, come let us adore him. Come on to the sacrificial land. Kneel down before come him. On. Worship and adore him. Worship and adore him. Help me sing. Help me sing. Come. Come on. Come let us. Come let us adore him. And I'm going to kneel down. Kneel down before him. Oh, and worship. Worship and adore him. Sing it. Sing what's his name. Amen. Emmanuel. Of the honor, he's worthy of the praise. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of the praise. Come on and praise him. Come on, he's worthy. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy 
of the honor. He's worthy of the praise. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. I love you. I love you. Lord, I love you. I love you. Lord, I love you. I love you. You must sing more than anything. More than anything. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Lord, I love you. I love you. Come on, sing more than anything. More than anything. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of the praise. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of the praise. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of the praise. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of the praise. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Come. Come on and help me sing. Come. Come, let us adore him. The great I am, kneel. Kneel down before him. Come on and worship and adore him. Worship and adore him. Oh, one more time, sing. Come. Come. Come on and come and worship him. Come, let us adore him. Worship the Savior, kneel down. Kneel down before him. God's only Son, let's worship and adore worship him. Worship and adore him. Come on, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Call out his name, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God's son that was sent to us, he made Emmanuel. Come on, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Come on, sing it like you mean it, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Call out his name, oh, Emmanuel. Oh, 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 Emmanuel. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. The Prince of Peace, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, the wonderful oh, counselor God. was sent this day. Emmanuel, come on unto us a child was born. Emmanuel, come on unto us a child was born. Emmanuel, come on one last time. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, come on, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. We worship you. Come on and give them some glory. Come on and give them some glory. Oh, oh. We worship you. Come on and give them some glory. Come on and just worship him. We worship you. Just worship him in this atmosphere. We worship you. Hallelujah. One more time. We worship you. Amen. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Come on and just magnify the name of the Lord. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of the praise. Emmanuel. Hallelujah. We worship you. We want to say praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. And everybody ought to praise the Lord. So we give thanks and honor unto the Lord, for he is certainly good, and his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. It is good to be in the land of the living. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. It's good to give thanks, hallelujah, unto the Lord for all of his goodness, for all of his benefits. Uh, he loaded us daily with his benefits. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I thank you. Hallelujah. Every day is a brand new mercy. Hallelujah. Every day is a brand new mercy. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion, they fail not. They are new every morning. Somebody say great ears. Somebody say great ears. 
Great is thy faithfulness. Great is the faithfulness of the Lord. Come on and give the Lord one more praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank the Lord for keeping us and watching over us and protecting us another week. Amen. Hallelujah. I think about Sister Amanda uh, and what she's going through in her body. She's living week by week. Amen. To deliver her baby. And that's the goodness of the Lord. Amen. When we depend on the Lord and when we call on the Lord, hallelujah, we're depending on him. Amen. Hallelujah. Every minute and every hour, uh, except the Lord keep the house. Uh, they that watch labor in vain. Uh, hallelujah. So we want to go before the Lord in prayer. We certainly do want to honor the Lord in this place and give thanks unto him. And we certainly do want to honor our first lady, Lady Tracy Quinn. Amen. Stand up there, honey, and let them see you. Let them see what you look like. Amen. Amen. Looking good. Oh, there they old girl. Hallelujah. We thank God. Thank God for uh, Pastor uh, Duck. Amen. This is going to be the speaker of the hour. Hallelujah. She ain't even looked up. <laughs> we thank God for her. Thank God for Mother Louise. Stand up there, Mother Louise. Let me look. Let us get a look at you. Amen. Looking good. Amen. We praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for you all. And we thank God for our deacons. Amen. We thank God for our brother minister, uh, Sylvester Quinn. I'm going to let you pray today. Amen. Amen. Let you pray for our service in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. I'm going to let you. Like I, <laughs> thank you, Lord. Well, thank you. I'm going to ask you to pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes I get in my daddy mode. You know, you don't ask the children, you tell them. <laughs> I got to come out of my daddy mode. Amen. But when your children get older, you got to ask them. Amen. Because they got a choice. <laughs> so we certainly do praise God. We praise God. We certainly do praise God for Sharice Quinn. She graduated uh, from Penn State. Amen. 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 We certainly do thank God for you. Uh, so right now, we want to go before the Lord in prayer. Uh, if anyone has a specific prayer request, uh, you can let it be known at this hour. Sister. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. Sister Hall. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Deacon Fields. Hey, glory. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. Oh, all right. Pastor Duck. Yes. Amen. Amen. 
Oh, okay, sure. Amen. Amen. Praying for his grandma. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yes. Amen. Amen. A lot to pray for, isn't it? Thank you, Lord. I did go to uh, Elder Bean's funeral on yesterday, and um, his wife, yes, certainly pray for her. You could just see the hurt in her face, 66 years of marriage. That's a long time, amen, and uh, let us pray for her and the family, and as Deacon Field said, and Pastor Duck said, and we, as you all have said, let us pray for one another, amen. Uh, Minister Quinn, amen, that sounds good, don't it? <laughs> come on up, come on up and pray. Yeah, it's just a church stand. And let us remember the ones that do need prayer. The prayer changes things. Prayer changes the atmosphere. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father God, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us mercy and grace. And Father God, we ask you to each prayer request that you heard, Lord God. Father, just have your way, Lord God. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father God, we thank you right now, Lord God. We thank you, Father. We thank you for all the wonderful blessings that you have bestowed upon us, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for the blood, Lord God. Because the blood delivers, Lord Jesus. The blood has all power, Lord God. And we praise your precious name. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for your deliverance power. We thank you, Lord God, because great is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, just have your way, Lord God. You know each prayer request. You know what's on our hearts and minds, Lord God. And you know how to shift, Father. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. And we give you glory, Lord God. We give you glory and praise, oh, Heavenly Father. And we thank you for our loved ones, Lord God. We thank you for our children, Lord God. They are the children of the future, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord God, we praise you. We praise you, Lord God. We give you glory, Lord God, because you are an atmosphere that will change, Lord God. You will change the situation. You will change it, Lord God, by your blood, Lord Father. Oh, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you glory. We give you praise and honor, Lord Jesus. We can't do nothing without you, Lord God. We need you in every situation. We need you in every struggle. We thank God for our struggles, Lord God. Through in them, there's our strength. Through in them, there's our praise. Through in them, there we give you the glory, Lord God. And Father, we know, Lord God, that you are prayer answering, God. And Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God. We give you glory. We give you praise and honor, Lord Jesus. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that each every prayer request that you can answer, you can answer because you omnipotent, God. You omnipotent, God. Oh, Father, there's nothing that you can't do. And Lord God, we give you the glory. We give you the praise and honor, Lord Jesus. We still plead the blood, Lord God, because in the blood there's all power. In the blood there's submission. Oh, Father, we rebuke that enemy in the name of Jesus. We rebuke that devil in the name of Jesus, because all glory belongs to you, Lord God. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that the saints of God got power. Saints of you gave saints of God the anointing, Lord God. Oh, Father, that yokes will be broken. That chains will be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And God, we give you the glory and honor. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, yes, Lord God. We press our way, Father, because we believe in trusting you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ. We praise you and we honor you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, glory. Hallelujah. 
We bless your name, Jesus. We bless the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's let the saints of God say amen. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Come on and give the Lord a praise. He's a prayer answering God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Right now, we'd like to ask Sister Harper to come up and give us our scripture reading. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And then we're going to have a testimony by Deacon Fields and a testimony by Mother Davis. Hallelujah. In that order. And Sister Yolanda, will you hand them the mic? Hallelujah. I'll be reading from Psalms 138. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart before God, before the gods will, will I sing praises unto thee. I will worship for towards the holy temple and I and praise thy name for the knowledge or the loving kindness of and for the truth for thou hast manifest the words above all thy name in the day when I cried thou answered me and strengthened me with strength in my soul all the kings of the earth shall praise thee O Lord when thy hear the words of thy mouth Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Thou, though the Lord is high, yea, have he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. I know, I, though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt strengthen forth thy hands against the wrath of thine enemies and thy right hand shall save me. Thank you, Lord. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own heart. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, um, <laughs> I was thinking of a song. It said, what more can Jesus do? Yes. He done already laid the foundation. Laid the foundation. And he opened up the way. Yes, he did. What more? What more? What more can he do? You know, I was, <laughs> the Lord be doing all kind of stuff with me. But uh, recently, um, I had a phone call from the redevelopment people a couple of months ago, and and I called them up. I said, hey, you guys called me. Oh, no, we made a mistake. Uh, we're sorry about that. I said, okay, all right. I felt, like, really disappointed. <laughs> and and uh, a couple of weeks ago, she called me again. I seen her on my call ID. I said, okay, what she want now? So I, I said, hello, yes. And, and she said, well, Mr. Fields, we, we're going to send you an application because we got some new funding. I said, oh, okay, thank you. You know, and she sent the application. I did all of the uh, forms and stuff like that. And um, I guess I'm approved and stuff. I thank the Lord for that because it, it, it's like, it's almost like when, you just turn it over to Jesus. Yes. And forget about it. Yeah. You know, it, 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 sometimes when people do stuff to you, you you be thinking of how to plot and get them back, or you know, <laughs> it, nothing works out good. Right. But when something happens and you just turn it over to Jesus, turn it over to Jesus. He'll make everything all right. Amen. Pray my strength in the Lord. <laughs> Woo. Turn it over to the Lord, and He'll work it Praise out. Praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> Praise the Lord. When uh, Bishop asked me to testify, this is the first thing that dropped in my mind. Just another day. Yes, Lord. That the Lord 
has kept me. Yes, Lord. Just another day that Just the Lord has kept, kept me. me. Those who know it, let us sing it together. He has kept me yes, Lord. from all evil. Yes, but Lord. my mind stayed on him. Just, Just another, another day, day that the Lord has yeah. kept yeah. me. And I can see you. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so glad yes, Lord. that the Lord has kept me. Yes, Lord. I want to thank and praise God today for everything that he means to me. Yeah. I praise him for down through the years. God has been good. Good. He's kept me from many danger, yes, from Lord. many hurt, harm. Yeah. I praise God for how no, he no. takes me through my test, my trials. Yes. You know, when, the, when you go so far down, the only way up is to pray. pray. And I praise God that he has put that in my heart. Because God said in his word, there's nothing. nothing. If we believe in him, all things are possible all things. to those that believe. There's yes. nothing in this world that can overtake a saint of God. Yes. And I praise God for his word. Which I word? praise God for being God, for keep on making ways on when making there is way. no way. I was thinking of Sister Glover yesterday. As she was dying, I went to see her. Yes. And she was talking to me. She said, Sister Davis, she said, you know what? She said, God is showing me some stuff. And she was trying to tell me what God was showing her. But she couldn't put it in words because it was so deep. And I wouldn't have understood. But today, I was thinking about it yesterday. Some of the things that she was telling me, God is working out in my life. Amen. He's showing me how real he is. Yes. He's showing me all about his son, Jesus Christ. Yes. He's showing me why things happen the way they happen. Yes. I praise God for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and revelation hey, of his word. On, I praise God for Bishop Frank on, Quinn. Shut. A real man of God. Hallelujah. A man that speaks the truth at Hallelujah. all times. I want you. the Lord to know that I appreciate him. I praise him for you. I praise him for all of y'all. Without y'all, yes. you know, I would be weak. Yes. You help make me strong. Yes. I want to thank and praise God for how he has lifted me up from time to time. How he encouraged my heart. I praise God for how he takes care of my children. My yes. grandchildren, how he touched our bodies, how he delivered yes. us, how he encourages us. Just continue praying for me because when I think of the goodness, goodness of, of Jesus, Jesus and everything yes. that he's done for me, my very soul cries out, hallelujah. hallelujah. I praise God for yes. saving me. Thank you for this Holy Ghost. Without hallelujah. God, I wouldn't be able to stand here today. Thank God. Thank hallelujah. You. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Just stand to your feet and just give him a praise. Let the Lord know you appreciate him. Let him know that you appreciate him for being a way maker, huh? for being a heart fixer, for being a way maker and a mind regulator. Come on and give him a praise. Give him a praise. Give him a praise. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's praise and worship time in the sanctuary. Amen. Father, we're here for you. We come to lift up your name because you are good. Amen. Hallelujah. We're here for you, Father. If you don't come, we won't move, Father. You're worthy. Hallelujah. And we sing all the praises to you. Amen. Hallelujah. We sing the praises to our King, for He is the King of Kings. We sing the praises to our King, for He's the King of Kings. We sing the praises to our King, for He is the King of Kings. We sing the praises to our King, for He's the King of Kings. We sing, we sing the praises to our King, for He is the King of Kings. We sing the praises to our King, for He's the King of Kings. We sing the praises to our King, for He is the King of Kings. We sing the praises to our King, for He's the King give of him glory, Kings. Give Him glory, for He is the King. Give Him glory, for He's the King of Kings. Give Him glory, for He is the King. Give Him glory, for He's 
the King of kings. We sing, we sing the praises to our King. For he is the King of kings. We sing the praises to our King. For he's the King of we kings. We sing, we sing the praises to our King. For he is the King of kings. We sing the praises to our King. For he's the King give of him kings. Give him glory, give him glory. For he is the King. Give him glory, for he's the King of kings. Give him glory, for he is the King. Give him glory, for he's the King of kings. Say all hail, all hail, King Jesus. Say all hail, all hail, Emmanuel. Father, we thank you for coming down and giving your life, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You thought we were worthy, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 
You're worthy, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And you thought I was worth saving. So you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. Yes, you did. So you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for. So you sacrificed your life. So I could be free, so I could be whole, and I will tell everyone I know, you You thought thought I was worth saving, yes you did, you came, you came and changed my life, you thought I I was worth keeping, so you cleaned me up, so you you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for. So you sacrificed your life so I could be free, so I could be whole. And I will tell everyone I know. And we say, Holly, Holly. I will praise you forever. forever. I'll give you glory. Forever. You deserve it forever. Lord. Because I am, because I am free, because I am whole. And I will tell everyone I know. And we say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. change my life and I will praise you forever I'll give you glory you deserve it Lord you deserve it Lord we'll praise you forever we'll praise you forever we'll praise you Lord we'll praise you Lord you deserve it Lord you deserve it Lord forever forever because I am, because I am free, because I am whole, and I will tell everyone I know. You thought I was worth saving, yeah. So you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. So you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for. You thought I, you thought I, you thought I was to die for. You thought I was to die for. You thought I was to die for. So you, so you sacrificed your life. So I could be free. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. He sacrificed his life so that we could be free. Amen. Amen. And so right now, as you know, that it's that, that season, the, the Christmas season. We worship and honor our King of Kings and our Lord of Lords. Scripture says, unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. And um, normally we have a a stronger production by our children, but because of the um, uh, COVID and all this other stuff going on, they did prepare something for you, amen, on today. So we want them to come forward at this particular time. Thank you, Lord. And, and we certainly uh, do want to have one more graduate in our midst, and that's uh, Sister Kathy Wall, amen, graduated from uh, amen, Edinburgh University with her master's degree. 
Come on, give God a praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Birds of a feather flock together. Thank you, Jesus. And as we, as they're preparing themselves and getting themselves in place, I do have a scripture I want to read, too. I, I want the children to be without me. Amen. I'm going to be like them. <laughs> so I want a scripture. I got a scripture here uh, from the book of St. Matthew. I hope I don't have theirs. Uh, Matthew uh, chapter number two and uh, verse number one. It says, now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, where is he? that is born king of the Jews. For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? Amen. Uh, ain't that what we have done? We've come to worship him. Amen. Well, we'll turn it over. Praise the Lord. The children have um, Bible verses and then we'll come to you with a song, a Christmas song. Amen. Let us continue to pray much for us all in Jesus' name. I need everyone to use their outside voices. You can bring your mask on and say your scripture verse, okay? For unto you is born in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for she shall save, for he shall save his people from their sins. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find a baby wrapped in sod and clothes lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with angel a, a heavenly host of multitude, a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the high. Glory to God in the highest. On and on earth, peace, good will toward men. Amen. Amen. Y'all take a bow. Amen. Thank you. Take a bow. Amen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Amen. Come on, give God a praise. I thought they was going to preach for a moment. 
quoting all them scriptures. Amen. Uh, Sister Yolanda, you did a wonderful job. Amen. Come on, give Sister Yolanda a hand. Amen. Working with the children. Thank you, Lord. We certainly do thank and praise the Lord. Amen. For this portion of service. And it's blessing time. It's blessing time. It's blessing time. Thank you, Lord. It's blessing time. The Bible says it's more blessed to give than to receive. Amen. And the Lord has been dealing with me with that scripture. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Because when you, when you give uh, the person, when you receive, you receive that which has been given. And that is the blessing. But a giver uh, receives abundantly more than the receiver. Y'all caught that? Amen. The giver receives abundantly more than the receiver. Amen. Amen. I may give Pastor Duck a $100 bill. Amen. But what the Lord is going to do for me, he's going to give it to me 30, 60, and 100 fold. Amen. Uh, you can't be God given. Uh, when you understand the principles of the kingdom, it'll help you. Amen. Yeah, glory. Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So the Lord says he loves a cheerful giver. Amen. He loves a cheerful giver. Amen. So we're going to give and sow our seed uh, cheerfully. Thank you, Lord. And we're going to give it unto the Lord. And what I'm learning, there's a difference between alms and there's a difference between alms and tithes. Amen. There's a greater blessing when you give your tithes. Uh, alms are to be done in secret. Amen. To help. And then what we're asking for you now is your tithes and your offering. Thank you, Lord. Alms is what you would give to Deacon Fields. Amen. To bless him. Amen. That's an alms. Amen. An offering is a sacrifice that you make to give unto the Lord. And the tithes is the 10% uh, that you have laid aside to give unto the Lord uh, to honor and to worship him. Amen. Amen. I'll be teaching that in Bible study. Y'all just hold on. We'll get it all together. Amen. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Come on and give him a praise. Hey, Shabbat Hallelujah. I just got to say this because it's on my mind. Hallelujah. I'm, the Lord's showing me some things. You know, when an individual takes their tithe money and, 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 and turn it into an arm and give it to somebody, uh, you don't receive the, the amount of blessing that you would receive if you had given it uh, as a tithe. Amen. Because you have changed its purpose. You have changed its intent. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Thank you, Lord. So that's why he said, bring your tithes and your offering to the storehouse. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If you want to give something to an individual, you give them an alm and you do it in secret and God will bless you. But don't transfer your tithes into alms and give it to people. You won't receive, you'll receive an alm blessing. Amen. There's a difference. Hallelujah. Come on now. Give God a praise. Somebody say, teach Pastor Quinn. Hallelujah. I want y'all to be the head and not the tail. That kind of old shot. Hallelujah. I want y'all to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. Let the church stand. At Shabbat. Ooh, I feel the Holy Ghost, Pastor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let the church stand. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you, Lord, that you bless this portion of tithing and this portion of offering. Lord, we sow it on good seed and good ground. And Lord, we do doing this with the right spirit and with the right attitude. And Lord, we pray, Lord, that you bless 160 and 30 fold. Father, we thank you and praise you. Give you glory and honor in Jesus name. Amen and amen. All right, Deacon Fields will walk around and collect uh, your tithes and your offerings. Lord, you are awesome. Lord, you are awesome. Lord, you are awesome. If 
it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. Come if on. it wasn't for, if it wasn't for your love, yeah. if it wasn't for your grace. I don't know where I'd be without you. Hey. Say, Lord, Lord, you are awesome. You oh. said awesome, God. Say, Lord, Lord, you are awesome. Awesome God we serve. Lord, you are awesome. Lord, you are awesome. He's awesome, isn't he? If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your love, it wasn't for your grace. Yes, Lord. I don't know where I'd be without you. If it wasn't for your love, yes, Lord wasn't for your grace yes I, I don't know, know where, where i'd be without you hey, he picked me up i said he picked me up and turned me around hey, picked, picked me, me up, up and, and turned me around then he placed my feet on solid ground placed my feet on solid ground i said he picked me up and turned me around hey, picked me up and turn me around. And he placed my feet on solid ground. Place my feet on solid ground. I said he picked me up and turned me around. Yeah. Picked me up and he turned me around. Yeah. And he placed my feet on solid ground. Place my feet on solid ground. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, Come on, put a praise on it. Say, oh, hey. oh, 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 he's wonderful. I said he picked me up and turned me around. Picked me up and he turned me around. And he placed my feet on solid ground. Placed my feet on solid ground. Said he picked me up and turned me around. Yeah. Picked me up and he turned me around. Said he placed my feet on solid ground. Placed my feet on solid ground. You are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome. Just let the Lord know that He's awesome. You are awesome. That He's awesome and mighty. You are awesome. There's no God like our God. You are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome. Just give Him a wave offering. Let Him know that you're awesome. You are 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 awesome. Let the church stand. You are awesome. You are awesome. We certainly thank God for your liberal giving. Come on, clap your hands for your liberal giving. Put a praise on your giving. Hallelujah. Give a thanks for your giving. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And we certainly do thank God for this portion of the service. The service where we come to hear the word of the Lord. And right now we do have a, a well-abled minister that is able to uh, masticate this word and to serve it and to deliver it. As Jesus told Peter, feed my sheep, feed my lambs. Amen. So we want to pray for her that the Lord will give her the strength in her body, the clarity in her thoughts, and the boldness and the courage <laughs> to declare the word of the Lord. And let us pray for one another that we receive it with meekness, uh, like our life depended on it. Thank you, Lord. And let us get behind her. Let us support her. Amen. With our hallelujahs and with our amens. Hallelujah. Glory. I present to some and introduce to others none other than Pastor Elois Duck. To God be the glory, to God be the glory, to God be the glory for the 
the things he's done for the things he's done for the things he's done to God be the glory to God be the glory to God be the glory for the things he's done 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 to God be the glory to God be the glory to God be the glory for the things He's done for the things he's done for the things he's done for the things he's done. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. To God be the glory for all the things that he has done. Amen. He's done great things in our lives. Amen. He's been there when we didn't even want God to be there sometimes. God has kept us even when we didn't want to even be kept. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. I praise God for all that he's done, all that he's doing, and all that he's going to do. Amen? Amen? Amen. I was listening to all the prayer requests this morning, and I was thinking about all of us here. There's none of us here that has gotten that virus. Amen? So we've, we've got so much to thank God for, amen? None of our children have it, amen? We are blessed among the blessed, amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. So all of you who think you don't have anything to thank God for, that's something to thank God for, amen? Hallelujah. You still have the use of your limbs. You can see, you can hear, you can talk, you can walk, amen? That's enough to just say thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, thank you, Jesus. I think I have a thankful spirit. Amen. I wake up and usually the first thing that comes out of my mouth that the phone don't ring before I wake up is thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I realize I'm blessed to see another day. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's, it's a time of the year where we're getting gifts, amen? Yeah. Amen. I, I, I walked into church this morning, and they said, uh, pick a gift out of the bag. And then she handed me another gift. And I was like, well, maybe I should wait until uh, everybody that comes to church get their gifts, you know. And then I'll, she said, no, go on. And pastor said, get it when you first come in, amen? I said, all right. And I, I, I love gifts, Amen. I love gifts. Everybody hear me? I love gifts. <laughs> amen. Uh, we usually we get gifts from everybody. Amen. But it's it's the gift, the one gift that I love the most that God has already given me. Amen. That's the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a gift that no one can take from me. I can't re-gift it to anybody. Hallelujah. This is a gift that you have to get for yourself. Amen. And I'm just going to say, Pastor, and the gift of God just keeps on giving. Amen. Jesus never stops giving us what we need. Hallelujah. All that we need is in him. Amen. Hallelujah. And I praise God for his dear son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, I don't know what I do sometimes. If the Lord wasn't in my life, amen, because he just keeps on making a way. Even when I don't see no way, he keeps on making a way, amen. Hallelujah. Not going to hold your attention too long this morning. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking at the clock. I'm not like a uh, bishop. Bishop gets one win, and then he say, I feel like preaching now. I'm like, didn't you? Just get, didn't you preach? And then he gets another win, and. He said, oh, Lord, I feel like preaching. 
And I'd be like, Lord, why don't I get all them wins? Amen. <laughs> Amen. I just have one win. Amen. And when that win is done, the Holy Ghost shut up, I shut up. Amen. Amen. Because I used to sit out there where you are uh, years ago. And I, you, can, you know when the Holy Ghost is done, so there's no sense in just keeping on talking. Amen. Amen. So you might as well just shut it down. Amen. Because the Bible says the spirit is subject to the prophet. Amen. So there's no such thing as you can't stop. You can sit down. If I got 15 minutes, I can preach to you in 15 minutes and cut it off. Amen. But those who say, I just got to preach it. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. The spirit is subject to the prophet. Amen. Hallelujah. I'd like to invite your attention to the book of Acts chapter 3. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. We come, Lord, asking for your help, realizing, Lord, that without you we can do nothing. We're asking, Lord, that you'll let your spirit increase and let mine decrease. Send a word, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, bless the hearers of your word that they might become doers in Jesus' name. Amen. Acts chapter 3. And I'm going to start reading at verse 22. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Unto you first God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And the thought that the Lord gave me this, this just this morning, amen? I thought I was going to have to call a pastor and say, you got a word? And I, I said, no, I can't call a pastor. So I just kept asking God to give me a word. And I got it about 7.30 this morning, amen? God sent Jesus to bless you, Amen? Moses said that the Lord God will raise up for you a prophet from your brethren as he raised me up. He said you shall listen to him in whatever he tell, whatsoever he tells you. And it shall be that every soul that does not listen to the prophet shall be destroyed from the people. All the prophets who have spoken from Samuel and those who came afterwards also proclaim these things. Ye are the sons of the prophets and of the covenant which God gave to your fathers, saying to Abraham, And in your posterity shall all the families of the earth be blessed. God, having raised up Jesus, sent him to you first to bless you in turning every one of you away from your sins. Amen? Amen. I want to persuade you this morning that God is moving towards you with great blessing. He's offering you a blessing be beyond everything that you can imagine. Be beyond everything that you now already have and enjoy. Amen? Amen? And if you move toward him in faith, if you believe his good will toward you, and make it your hope and your treasure, because see where your heart is, there your treasure will be also. And if you make it this faith that God once delivered to the saints, if you make it your hope and your treasure, then you will receive the blessing of the Lord that's been appointed for you. That blessing has your name on it. Nobody can claim it. Nobody can have it. It's definitely for you. Amen? What this passage teaches is that God brought Jesus onto the scene of history just to bless us. Amen? God said to his son in heaven, the time is fulfilled now. I promised a blessing, and it is time to make good on my promise. I want blessing to come to the world 
He told Jesus, go now and bless my people. So I say this morning that God is moving towards you with a blessing. How many believe that this morning? You are in verse 25, which says, Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Amen? Amen. It doesn't matter that it's almost 2,000 years that have passed since God said that. With God, a 1,000 years is as one day. So you know what? It's like this promise was made just two days ago. Hallelujah. That's how fresh this blessing is for you. Amen? If you move toward God in faith, you will receive the blessing. Amen? That is what Christmas really is all about. It's about receiving Jesus as your Lord, as your Savior, as your Christ, as your ruler. Hallelujah. It's receiving Jesus Christ. Amen? Uh, if you will move toward him in faith, you will receive the blessing that Jesus has for you. He said, I got to go away. If I don't go away, he said, the comforter won't come. And you won't, have, you won't have a chance, really, to be saved. You'll have no chance of reconciling back to God. Amen? So he said, I'm going gonna, gonna to leave now so that the comforter can come. Amen? Here's the way Paul put it in Romans 15 and 8. Christ became a servant to the circumcised, such as the Jews, to show God's truthfulness and to confirm the promises that was given to the fathers. Amen? So there it is. Christ came to prove that God tells the truth. Because everything that Jesus said about God, it has or it will come to pass. God keeps his promises. Christmas that God can be trusted. Amen. Amen. Christmas means that God is true. That God come to reveal Praise the him. truth of God. Amen. Christmas means that Jesus came to help live the truth of God. He became the truth of God. He became the word of God. Amen. He sent Jesus to proclaim good news to the poor. Proclaim freedom for the prisoners. Everyone that's imprisoned by something. Amen. You may not be imprisoned by something small. You may not be imprisoned by something large. You may be in prison just by lying, amen? Can't get rid of that lying spirit to save your soul. You might be in prison by hatred, amen? God is love, amen? No love, no God, amen? You might be in prison by something that you just can't get the victory over, amen? I don't know what it is, but God knows what it is. Jesus came so he could free you from your prison. Amen. Jesus came so that he could get you captive from your sins. Amen. And all those old foul habits that some of us used to have. Smoking, drinking, cussing, and, and, and swearing, and all that old stuff. Amen. Jesus was sent to recover sight to the blind. Amen. To open deaf ears. Amen. And did not he perform those acts? Yes, he did. While he was on earth, he healed men that were a man that was in the graveyard, couldn't keep clothes on. He, his family just couldn't keep him home. He'd take all the clothes off. But Jesus healed that man. Hallelujah. While he was on the earth, he did a lot of healing and saving. He was sent also to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Amen. Jesus was sent to serve, not to be served, but to serve and give. You might say, give what? Give his life as a ransom for many, amen? Jesus was sent to serve and give, not to be catered to. He washed their feet, the apostles. He gave his life. He was the king of kings. He was the Lord of lords. He came from heaven to earth just to serve, amen? How much more shall we serve him who gave his life for us and served us, amen? 
He was sent from heaven to earth to do the Father's will and to speak the Father's word. He said, I do nothing of myself. He was entirely committed in doing the will of his Father. Jesus said, as for you, as you have sent me into the world, he said, I have sent them into the world. He didn't send you back out in the world. He just sent you to the world to be a witness, amen, to the world, to let the world know that God can save, God can keep, God can heal, God can deliver, God can move on your favor. God can move on your behalf. Hallelujah. He sent you into the world to be a witness of that. Hallelujah. He equips you. Everything you need, he has equipped you. He filled your soul with the Holy Ghost. You got baptized in Jesus' name. Then he put his word down on the inside of you. You think you don't know what to say to people? You got that word on the inside. And at the time that you need it, God will let it come to your mind. And you will bring it up and save souls. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Without Jesus in your life, we wouldn't be able to see God. Hallelujah. We see God through Jesus. Hallelujah. Sirs, we would see Jesus. How are we going to see him? Through you? Through your life? Without Jesus, we would doubt God's love. But the works that he did and the death that he died, Jesus revealed God's love. Without Jesus, we might question God's goodness and how much he cares for us. But Jesus revealed God's knowledge of our needs and his desire to meet them. Without Jesus, we might consider God unfair. But in his inter interactions with people all over the world and all different backgrounds, Jesus revealed that God does not have any partiality. Hallelujah. Jesus spoke God's words. Amen. Thought God's thoughts, which is the word of God. He felt and expressed God's emotions and did God's work. God sent Jesus to bless you. God sent Jesus to do away with sin. God sent Jesus not to deny the fact of sin or help us forget about our sin. Denials and cover-ups were not God's purpose, amen? God wanted to do away with sin once and for all. In Christ, God forgave sin and released us from its penalty, amen? When Jesus died on the cross, everything that you've done in this life was dropped. The charges were dropped. There was nothing held against you. When you got baptized in Jesus' name, you had a clean slate before God. Hallelujah. Through faith in his son, we have full deliverance from all that guilt. Not only that, but we have deliverance from the hold of sin itself. How many people was tired of sin? <laughs> God gave us true salvation and a real peace with him. Amen. We didn't have no peace. Oh, some of us used to toss and turn all night long. Hallelujah. But God stepped into your life turned things around and gave you peace that pass of all understanding. Hallelujah. Jesus also came to destroy the works of the devil. Hallelujah. It was a divine mission. I like that. A divine mission that God... Anybody ever watch Mission Impossible? Hallelujah. I used to like that show where they give them a mission to do and they would go and they would perform that mission. It was dangerous too. But they would get it done. Amen. But this is what Jesus had to do was divine. 
and the way was very possible. It wasn't mission impossible. It was mission possible. It was executed with the precision of a well-planned military strike. 2,000 years ago, the Son of God landed on this foreign soil behind enemy lines with a mission to demolish the works of the devil. And he succeeded. How do we know? Because we're here, amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil had his castle made of, of sand, amen? But Jesus was the tide, amen? Came in. You know how the tide come in and, and just wreck things that the little children are made in the sand? That's how Jesus stepped in and removed everything that the devil had framed up, amen? The devil had a plan for Lazarus. He didn't expect Lazarus to be involved in being raised from the dead. But God had a plan. He wanted people to see that Jesus Christ, his son, was the resurrection. He was the way, the truth, and the life. Amen? He wanted them to see that. Hallelujah. God didn't plan for Paul, the devil rather didn't plan for Paul to go and, and, and do the things he did. He wanted someone to kill Saul of Tarsus. You see, he was going around killing the people of God. And, and nothing good, was. he thought some good was doing. But he wasn't doing anything good. He, he became a missionary to the Gentiles. Then he built churches after church after church. And the devil had that plan to get that Philippian jailer, amen? He wanted that man to kill himself. Hallelujah, because Paul and Silas had gotten out of their cell, amen? They hadn't went anywhere, but he thought they did. They hadn't went nowhere. And the devil planned to take that jailer out. <laughs> but that night, he and his whole family got saved, amen? You see how God will turn things around? Just like God had a plan for the jailer, Paul of Tarsus, and the, the Philippian guy and his family, God has a plan for you. You're going to be tempted while you're on this earth. But God has a way of escape out of every temptation that can come across your path. God has a plan. You're going to be tried. But God is the way. He tells you don't be weary in well-doing. For in due season you'll reap if you faint not. You're going to be talked about. But they talked about your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So why can't they talk about you? Aren't you just like Jesus? Aren't you walking like Jesus? Aren't you talking like Jesus? Aren't you carrying yourself like Jesus? Are you living holy like Jesus? You're going to be disappointed. Didn't they disappoint Jesus? He asked them to pray with him. He said, couldn't you just pray with me one hour? You're going to be disappointed in this life. You're going to have lots of burdens. You're going to be depressed sometimes. You're going to be stressed out sometimes. But Jesus said, come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. He said, cast all your cares on me. For I care for you. The Lord is your shepherd. You shall not walk. Yea, though you walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Count it all joy 
when you fall into divers temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work in patience, and patience experience, experience hope, and hope make it not a shame. Hallelujah. God sent Jesus to bless you. He sent Jesus to bless you. You're more than a conqueror. Everything that could captivate you, God took it back. Jesus took it back with him. Nothing is able to captivate you. He led captivity captive. So there's nothing that can hold you back. God sent Jesus to bless you. Hallelujah. God sent Jesus to strengthen you. Sometimes look like you just can't make it. Like you can't put one foot in front of the other. Hallelujah. But he said, in your weaknesses, my strength is made perfect. In your weaknesses, God's strength is made perfect. Sometimes you, t- you get tired of being strong. But you won't know how strong you are. Until you have to make the choice to be strong. Hallelujah. He said, be strong in the Lord. Not in yourself. Oh, hallelujah. Not in no man. Not in no woman. Hallelujah. Put your confidence in no man. But be confident in God. Hallelujah. Be confident in your God. He has never lost a battle. He has never failed you. Be confident in your God. Hallelujah. 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 Be confident in your God. Hallelujah. The one who parted the Red Sea. The one who took them through the Red Sea on dry ground. The one who brought them out of Egypt. The one who brought you out of the world. The one who gave you new desires. The one who set your feet on a rock to stay. The one who brought you out more. The one who's still bringing you out. The one who's still keeping your mind stayed on him. He said he'll keep your mind in perfect peace if you keep it stayed on him. Keep your mind on the Lord. Hallelujah. Got to get refocused. Hallelujah. We're focusing on the wrong things now. God sent Jesus to bless you. You can't bless yourself. Ha, ha, ha. Hallelujah. It can't be done that way. God has a prescribed way. Jesus has to bless you. And God sends blessing to places. No matter what you're going through. You just ha- hold on. Hold on to his unchanging hand. And see, won't he bring you out? He'll do it every time. He'll do it. He'll do it. You can depend on God. I say, you can depend on God. I might let you down. But you can depend on God. He's an old time God. Never late. Never lost the battle. Hallelujah. You can depend on God. He sent Jesus to bless you. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that's bothering you, whatever it is you're going through, Jesus will bless you in it. Hallelujah. All you got to do is praise your God. Worship your God. You know, when you're in the test sometimes, Look like you're in there by yourself. But when when God put you in the test, he's only putting you in to bring you out. But he gets in there with you. But you can't see him. So you got to walk by faith, not by sight. Forget about what you can see. Forget about what you can hear. Walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Forget what it looks like. Forget what it sounds like. You walk by faith and not by sight. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God can do anything but fail. He can do anything but fail. Your way's been already made. All you got to do is just walk in it. It's already been there made for you. Waiting on you to get there, amen? Hallelujah. You just got to keep believing God. No matter what's coming up against you, no matter what's been done, said, whatever, just keep walking in faith. Believe in your God. Hallelujah. Because you can't go wrong with the stuff I use. You can't go wrong with this. Hallelujah. This is your weapon, amen? Got 66 bullets in it. And it's a bullet for anything that you're going through, amen? Hallelujah. You don't even have to have a gun because the weapon of your warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Hallelujah. They're mighty through your God. Hallelujah. To the pulling down of any stronghold in your life. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. We serve a worthy God. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy of all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. What would we do without the Lord? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If some of the old patriarchs could get back here, they tell you, hang on to Jesus. Don't you let Jesus go. Hang on to him. Because that's the thing, if you die, that's the thing that's going to get you out that grave. His spirit, that same spirit that was in Jesus, if it be in you, it'll also quicken your mortal body. It'll get you out of that grave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't be weary in well-doing. In due season, you'll reap if you faint not. It ain't time to faint, saints. We're too close now. Well, I often say we only got one more lap. You know how when they're in that race and they're running, some of them look like they're so tired and they can't hardly make it. But somebody will say, you got one more lap. Oh, they give them strength. They give them strength. We only got about one more lap. Jesus is soon to come. I've been hearing that for 44 years, but I believe it ever more now. You can feel it in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. So get ready and stay ready. Amen. Don't let the enemy fool you. You know he ain't got much time trying to take everybody with him that he can. If you're in the church, stay in the church. Don't be a fool like Abner who died like a fool. He was in the ark of safety, and he went back out and got killed. Hallelujah. And if you're not in this ark, get in the ark. Backsliders, come on back home, amen. Come on home, amen. Hallelujah. Time is winding up, amen. Hallelujah. God sent Jesus to bless you. And what a blessing, amen? Hallelujah. A man who gave his life so that you and I might be saved. Amen. I love every one of y'all, but I don't know if I'd give my life for you. Amen. And I know y'all feel the same way about me. Don't fool yourself, y'all. We don't love each other that much. But God gave Jesus so much love. He gave his life for every one of you. Me, Pastor Bishop. He gave his life, amen? And I don't know why Jesus loved us so much, but I'm so glad he did, amen? So glad he did. But God, remember, when you're going through something that seems like it just ain't going to work out for you, just say, uh-uh, God sent Jesus to bless me. That's all you got to say. The devil know the rest of the scripture. God sent Jesus to bless me, amen? So just hold your head up. Strengthen your feeble knees and go on and walk with your God.
Pray my strength in the Lord. Beautiful message. God's got a blessing for you. Oh, God's got a blessing for you. Oh, he woke me up this morning, started me on my way. Oh, God's got a blessing for you. Oh, God's got a blessing for you. Oh, God's got a blessing for you. Oh, he woke me up this morning. He started me on my way. Oh, God's got a blessing for you. One more time. Lil, God's got a blessing for you. Hey, God's got a blessing for you. Oh, he woke me up this morning. He started me on my way. Oh, God's got a blessing for you. Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. What a dynamic word. What a dynamic word. I felt like she was prophesying unto me. Hallelujah. Did you feel like she was prophesying unto you? Hallelujah. Hey, let us just give God a praise for that word. Hallelujah. Put a praise on it. Thank God for it. Hallelujah. Because God is going to bring it to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. And we can always say God has already brought it to pass. Hallelujah. God's got a blessing. Let the church stand. If there's anyone that wants to get baptized in Jesus' name, just raise your hand. We'll baptize you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God wants to also fill you with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Hey, hallelujah. God, God is a good God. Tell your neighbor, God is a good God. Yes, hallelujah. And as she was preaching, uh, she got her, she talking about third and fourth win. I was watching. She got her sixth and seventh win. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And at the end of her message, the Lord dropped in my mind. Thank you, Lord, about how God has blessed us. And the Lord told me to tell you that, that what God has blessed, the devil can't curse. Hallelujah. Balak tried to curse the children of Israel. But when he opened his mouth, blessings came out. Hallelujah. The devil is trying to curse you. Hallelujah. But Jesus died on that cross, gave his life as a curse for you and I. And now we're blessed. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I'm blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm blessed. Thank you, Lord. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Hallelujah. I've got something to go into next week or this week with in my spirit to fight against the hand of the enemy. Hallelujah. Because we're blessed. Amen. Aren't we blessed? Hallelujah. God is with us. Emmanuel. Come on and just give him one more praise. My God, I, I got to let y'all go. I feel like I want to preach. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let us just pray for the preacher. Hallelujah. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this anointed soul. We thank you for the anointing that you have put on her life. We thank you, Lord, for every test and every trial you have allowed her to go through. We thank you, Lord, for bringing her out more than a conqueror. We thank you, Lord, for anointing her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. We thank you, Lord, for the word that we have received with meekness and that is strength to our soul, that is strength to our body. We thank you, Lord. Now strengthen the Lord. Replenish the Lord. Renew our strength. Renew the anointing. Renew your power in the name of Jesus. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Ekabosha, come on and give God a praise. Lord, look upon every soul that is here on today. Strengthen our spirit, strengthen our soul and our might. 
high as we leave this place, but never from your presence. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let your glory rest on us. Let your anointing rest on us. Let your power rest on us. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hey, hallelujah. Pastor, will you dismiss us? Now, Lord, we're asking that you'll dismiss us from this place, but not from your presence. In Jesus' name, amen.